All right, so we have a bit of a problem. There's this, the kill, well, first of all, let me backtrack. The kill event has just started, all right? Um, and it was pretty cool at first. No one came right at us, but we had a ton of attack lines going right by us because UWS is right next to us and they were opening some huge rallies. But we have this alliance called IPF, who I have never been a huge fan of. Um, you know, we attacked them a little bit in the early days and we hit them pretty hard. But they were, you know, cool. They were cool about it and they were good at reinforcing. Um, you know, we gave them a weak NAP so that they could grow and get stronger and we could have more fights with them. And then the week after that, we hit them when the NAP ended and then UWS also hit them. UWS was really impressed with their reinforcement and so told us not to hit them anymore because they wanted them to join our family. So they are supposedly, from the last that I heard, in the UWS family. But I don't know, it's not on their wall. But anyway, what happened was we attacked END, E-N-D, who we are not allied with, and as far as we know, is not allied on anybody. And so IPF just starts going crazy, attacking our flags. Let me see, this guy is listening. This is the former leader. He's ignoring all my messages. Anyway, look, they do not have END anywhere on their wall. I have never heard anything from UWS about END. And yet, you know, they go crazy. IPF says END is their training alliance. And so they're getting revenge on us for hitting. And that, you know, they're, the craziest thing is they say that they're going to call UWS to come and hit us. It's like they don't even know. Oh, my God. It's like they don't even know that we're supposed to be allies. They won't answer any messages. Yeah, they almost burned our flags to zero before. The worst thing is, I mean, it would be one thing if they just attacked us. The worst thing is that they'll... They just keep hitting flags to be annoying. You know. Ugh. So yeah, happy kill event, everybody. This is the work. I like I didn't I did not want UWS to ally with them just because like I did not I messaged. And Dylan. This is the other thing too. Dylan is here is the one is the one who told me he's like, oh, if you have any more questions with IPF, message me. But it's like 3 a.m. in Europe. I don't even know if my message sent.
that's the worst part is like they won't even too cowardly to even attack us just trying to be annoying actually let me see what their alliance power is right now Sixteen thousand, rank thirteen. So they're pretty close to us. Yeah, but this is like I just knew they would be terrible allies because they communicate horribly. When they were, you know, mad at us before. They just like, they also just hit our flags and like started scouting on our tiles and they rallied one level 10 castle. And that was pretty much it. So that's why like, I told you WS, they're pretty much just useless. Someone they don't even have listed as an ally, and they threatened to call UWS down on. try messaging some of their other deputies anyway we already have people that like ported over there and are attacking them so I don't really care what I really just want is for them to attack us I'm gonna let them kind of burn themselves out something about them on his wall. It's from a few hours ago.
So I guess really just let IPF have their fun. actually join against them. Yeah, they will probably, they will probably disband when they see reinforcement. And so what I'm worried that they will do is disband and then since we're spread out here, come back and hit us back over here. They only have a 60k rally in the first place, though. Then they are full. That's kind of stupid of them. So what Bobo meant is that what we should we should not send reinforcements. Let the attackers think that the person will not be reinforced. Let them hit and then send reinforcements in. 
as they're getting close to hitting so that they can't withdraw. I have this, this second Lord skill button is an instant withdraw to get all troops back in my city. So that's what I will use if they try to retarget in our hive. They scouted some members in our hive, but didn't do anything. in my world chat no Let's see attacking more flags so this is actually it's exciting at first, but in the end, I think this will actually be kind of a long and boring drawn out fight because they just want to keep hitting our flags over and over again. Let me see. Only has one. As well. Enforce with. Thousand mages. The only thing about reinforcing these flags, one of the reasons that it's pointless is because you know, it spreads out, it does spread out your marches since you have a limited number of marches. Nice finds. This one too, right now. This one's in 54 seconds. Too much long to enforce it. I mean, you might as well just let them keep hitting because they have to hit over 30 times to burn it down. Now my screen is red because I'm getting a high flight motion. Um. And so you might as well, you wait for them to like hit it 30 times and then it, it takes then 12 hours to burn. You have that whole 12 hours that you can put it out. So they really have to like be on top of it 24 hours if they actually want to burn a flag down. Yeah, go to bed if you want. The worst that will happen, they will do a real attack. As 
as long as everyone protects their troops, then that's not a big deal. Alright, so Ray's going to bed. <sighs> I'm not going to go to bed. I have to keep an eye on things, but... I am think gonna stop this recording because this is a pretty boring battle. Just them hitting our flags over and over and over. So yeah, IPF, I hope this is fun for you. Happy kill event. <sighs>